Arevud is thrilled to be honoring Ezra and Sippy Hiller for their leadership and communal involvement. We have had the pleasure of working with the Hillers on a variety of projects, including Ari's Mitzvah Project, which was a unique Tikkun Olam tour, where in lieu of a regular party, he, his friends, and family participated in a variety of service projects, Mitzvah Clowning, where Ari has been an active member since June 2010, and most recently infusing Ethan's birthday party with hands-on chesed projects to benefit community agencies. As a result of the response and impact from Eitan's out-of-the-box birthday celebration, Arevut is working with the Hillers to offer a similar program and service to the community. Stay tuned for details coming soon. The Hillers are passionate about actively and quietly making a difference in the community. Ezra and Sippy work behind the scenes for Arevut, Black Box, Temple Emmet, Yeshiva Noam, and a variety of other community agencies. Many of you here today know the Hillers through these efforts, and everyone that knows them knows that they do not just help for specific events or committees, but that this is just how they are wired. They do this all the time, publicly, privately, in the Jewish community, as well as in and for the broader community. They do it because for the Hillers, this is what Judaism and life are all about. Ari Vut's mission is to enable Jewish youth to infuse their life with the core Jewish values of chesed, tzedakah, and tikkun olam, so that they become thoughtful, giving members of the Jewish community of tomorrow. In essence, our goal is to teach the tweens, teens, families, and educators we work with to be more like Ezra and Sippy Hiller. Um, it's so appropriate that Arivud is honoring the Hillers. Arivud is an organization that is focused on doing chesed and doing for other people, and that's exactly who um, Sippy and Ezra are people that do for other people, that care about other people, and that are concerned for other people. Um, the work that they've done here at Yeshivat Noam over the years, uh, work that's helped families, that's helped children, and has helped teachers within the school, um, really speaks so much to the kind of people that they are. So I'm in my kitchen and the phone rings. It's Sippy. She says, do you have any olive oil? Um, yeah. Okay, she says, I'm cooking for Shabbos tonight and I have 20 errands to do between now and then, none of which involve the grocery store. So here's what you're going to do. I'm leaving my house now, you're going to count to 30, then stand on your porch with the olive oil. When I pull into your driveway, I'll open my window and you'll come down and hand it to me, okay? I'm really in a rush. Let me make it clear. Such conversations have been going on for years between Sippy and me, in both directions, so this did not phase me. What did phase me was that 10 minutes later, I was still standing on my porch holding olive oil. And 10 minutes after that. I called her house. I called her cell phone. Nothing. Of course I was getting worried. She finally shows up in one piece and I say, what the heck happened to you? She tells me, I was driving to your house and there was this little girl walking a puppy. As I passed her, the puppy broke off from its leash and ran away. I spent the last 20 minutes chasing this puppy all over Teaneck. And yes, she caught the puppy and returned it to the little girl. That is the Hiller family. For Tzipi and Ezra, committing themselves to their child's passion, involving chesed, children, humor, and Yiddishkeit is right up their alley. Like most of us, they are always running in a hundred directions. But there are two things that make them stand out from the crowd. One, hands-on parenting is always their top priority. And two, they always make time to save the puppy. I think my parents have definitely helped me and Ari Vut in mitzvah clowning and definitely in my mitzvah project, my tikkun olam tour. Um, they've helped the community, whether it's within school helping with picture day or whether it's just finding a lost puppy or really anything. Within, they, they find even the small things to make an impact with. I've learned that not only that if you do something good, you might get something back, but just the happiness of making someone else happy is what you get back. We really always wanted our children for mitzvot and tikkun olam and community service to be a part of their everyday life. So which is why we first came to the mitzvah fair so early, 
we wanted it to be second nature for them. We didn't want it to be something that they had to think about, that they had to only connect to certain events. He got closer to his bar mitzvah, and we really felt that we'd like to do something a little bit different than the typical party. And so with the help of Ari Voot came the Tikkun Alum Tour, which was a hands-on uh, community service day where our, we created posters and Ari put them up at school where he had a magazine drive and he had a food drive. And the day of the event, the kids got together and they sorted through the magazines and they sorted through the food. And someone from the food bank came in to talk to the kids. And then all the kids loaded up a bus with some help of Ari Voot staff and they brought the magazines to different facilities. And then they went to Flat Rock and helped clean up the trails. Yes, that was a very sweaty, <laughs> hot day, but uh, it was well fun. worth it. Yeah. yeah. And we started to think about how Ari Voot comes into the class every year at Noam, each grade, and talks about a different mitzvah project that they can do. And we thought, wow, can we incorporate that somehow into a birthday party? So again, I reached out to Ari Voot for some help. And with that, we came up with his mitzvah birthday party, where the kids went to different stations in our basement and made different hands-on projects to be given out. And at first we thought the kids were gonna be upset. Here they're making this cool hat to give to a child who has cancer. And not one child complained about not being able to go home with something for themselves. They were all really excited to do for others. It's important to be involved, uh, uh, to do good things for other people. Uh, sometimes put yourself out there even if it's, if it's difficult. Just to make sure, again, it's second nature for them. And I think, I think they kind of understand that. Ari's active in mitzvah clowning. Uh, I've gone along with him. I have a good time. Uh, we have a good time being together doing it. It's not just, you know, when he does something by himself or Eitan will do something by himself. Uh, even buying his magic tricks for mitzvah clowning is fun. So. I felt the same way. It's one thing to teach your children to do the right thing and to show them to do mitzvot, but to do it with them and to do it as a family has really been important to us. One of the things I really enjoyed was marching in the Israeli Day Parade as a mitzvah clown. I marched with both my boys and a bunch of other clowns, and it was a lot of fun. It just, it was fun to see the crowd's reaction to us. As a matter of fact, we were walking to the car, still dressed up as clowns, and so many people kept stopping us with the little children. They wanted to meet us and shake our hands. One family even asked if they could take a picture of us with their kids. It was very cute. It was nice to bring smiles to people's faces. It sounds like a big daunting task to get involved in uh, helping in an organization, but it's really not. You know, just take five minutes, call an organization, call our vote for ideas. Because um, once you do it, it really is. Um, it's rewarding. You. you know, it could be just a just a little thing too. You start small. You don't have to do anything huge. Just something a little bit here and there, and uh, again, it starts to turn into something, starts to snowball. Again, like I said, our, our kids see us do a little thing here, a little thing there, and it just every, every little bit makes an impact.